What's going on guys and gals? This is going to be a review of the Torque T1 motorcycle helmet. This helmet is sort of a knockoff of the very expensive and very popular Bell Bullet helmet. So I've had this helmet for about three weeks now. And so in those three weeks, I've traveled about 2,000 miles wearing it. The majority of that was a recent trip that I took up the Blue Ridge Parkway and then back down. So that was about 1,500 miles total. And so far, really enjoying it. So it's about half the price of the Bell Bullet, which is nice. And it has a few features that I think are superior to the Bell Bullet. So I did try on a Bell Bullet. And one of the things that I wasn't crazy about was the vents. So if you'll see here, the Torque T1 actually has closing vents. It's a very positive click. And so if you're going down the road, you can definitely tell when you close it. Same thing goes for the bottom. The Bell Bullet had an open vent system, which is not a problem if it's warm out or not raining, but if it begins raining, you're gonna to wanna to close those vents. If it's cold, you're gonna to wanna to close those vents. One of the other differences that this has that the the Bell helmet did not have was the only locking system for the Bell helmet was a magnetic strap that came down about where this is and just hooked like a regular magnet would here. So the Torque T1 actually has a lock position and an unlock position, which is pretty good. Although I will say I never put it on the lock because I have not had trouble with the shield flying up while going down the road. Sorry, this thing is disgusting and covered in bugs, but obviously it gets used. So the, the one thing that everyone complains about with these style of helmets is that they're noisy. And granted, it is going to be louder than a typical full face helmet. However, as someone that has used half helmets exclusively for, I don't know, the past 10 years, I really wanted to get into a full face helmet. But I did not like the looks of most full face helmets, nor did I care for the profile of them. And what I mean by that is the typical chin strap on the average full face helmet is going to come to about right here. So right around where your nose is. The chin strap on these retro style helmets is going to be a lot thinner. You know, so one thing I did notice on my trip was it was very easy to eat while wearing this helmet. You know, take a sip of a drink. Uh, just do some different things that you could obviously do in a half helmet, but you couldn't do in the typical full-size helmet. Um, so that's nice. As far as comfort, it is very, very comfortable. You know, one thing you'll notice, it's a soft, you know, it almost feels like a suede material. Um, all the liners do pop out for easy cleaning, so that's pretty good. The ventilation on this helmet, you know, if you're someone that is used to a full-size helmet, I'm going to say that it has pretty darn good ventilation. You know, you've got the two front, obviously, 
And then if you look here at the back, you have these two mesh ones, which you cannot close, and these two, which you cannot close. Have I ridden with it in the rain? No. So I, I can't speak to if these are going to leak or if the profile is set far enough back where that's not going to be an issue. But so far, I've been very pleased with it. My, the majority of the time when I'm riding, I'm not even using the face shield. I've left this up. I always wear sunglasses, and obviously this is a clear shield. But there were times where, you know, going pretty fast on the interstate, I did pull the shield down, as you can see from all the bug guts. And it felt good, you know. I was getting air, and that was on a... Um, 97 degree day so that was nice um, you know one of the other things that that I don't like about it and this may be inherent to all full face helmets I don't know in this up position when you reach speeds of about 35 it whistles like crazy Whistles like crazy. Makes a lot of noise. Um, you get used to it, obviously. So it's not the biggest deal, I suppose. But um, it was definitely one thing that I wasn't crazy about. You know, as far as fitment, let's see. I believe this is an XL. Yeah, it's an XL. So... Most helmets that I've always worn, I've been a size large, you know, especially in Harley Davidson branded helmets, I've always been a large. Uh, for an XL, it's not too loose on me, but the large was definitely too tight. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind with these type of helmets. But so far, I, I'm really pleased with it. Uh, I don't, I don't see getting a different style of helmet or going back to a half half helmet. You know, this gives you plenty of ventilation, very good vision. It's set very far back, as you can see, and so you can really see things in your peripheral that you can't in most full face helmets. And frankly, I think the thing looks cool. I think full face helmets just don't look that cool. And I, th I think they nailed it with this. Um, obviously, they're knocking off the style from Bell. But at half the price, with closable vents on the front, and the way the vents are set up on the back, which is slightly different than the Bell, I think this is a better helmet. You know, we'll see how it holds up, but I mean, so far the the fit and finish, like nothing rattles. It's not, it's not loose. Uh, seems to be quality materials. You know, they they use a nice aluminum on the buckles. Uh, everything just seems to be top notch. So. Let me know what you guys think. You, you know, if you have one of these or if you have a Bell Bullet, is it, do you like it? Uh, I've seen a lot of guys, you know, remove the face shield itself and just run either clears or, or sunglasses. Um, not sure I want to do that. I don't mind the look of it with the face shield up, you know, and, and like I said, the only, only, thing I didn't like was the noise but it's not unbearable I mean you're on a motorcycle for goodness sake but let me know what you guys think you know do, do you have one of these have have you been wearing them you know do you moto vlog with it what 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 do you do with it do you only wear it on long trips do you wear it around town you know 90 percent of my riding is done in heavy traffic in town 
so it gets hot and you know I haven't I haven't been uncomfortable in this thing so far so so far so good uh, thanks for watching and if you like these helmets or you found this useful definitely give it a thumbs up and we'll catch you on the next one take care guys bye